still. Have you ever wanted a face tattoo without the commitment? M Tracker Surface is here to save the day. On to the tutorial. Once you have downloaded M Tracker Surface via M Installer, it can be located in your effects. To apply M Tracker Surface, simply click and drag onto the clip that you would like to track. You'll be presented with some on screen controls here. Definitely be sure to check out our other M Tracker Surface tutorials that will go over these controls in depth. So we do know that we are going to do mesh tracking. So we're going to go over to our tracking mode, click this down and then go over to mesh mode. And then let's go back to our Bezier tools. And we are just going to click around and find the surface area that we are going to track this awesome tattoo of Nick. So you can see that our mesh has been generated. If we would like to increase the mesh density or decrease the mesh density, you can do so by using the slider and click regenerate mesh. And you'll see that that mesh has been updated. So now why don't we go ahead and go to our tracker. Since our playhead is in the center of this area, I did this because this was the best way to see the area in its entirety before tracking. So we're going to do a track forward and then a track back. So let's go ahead and track forward. And let's track backward. Now that we are done tracking, we can quickly scrub through and check that track, check that mesh. That all looks fantastic. So let's go ahead and go over to our drop zone in our inspector here. We're gonna click the drop zone well, and then we're going to select this amazing photo of Nick. I do want Nick's face tattooed onto my face because I appreciate all of the work he does here on these motion VFX videos. So there we go, we've selected Nick's face to apply to my face. Let's click apply clip. Now we can go into our distortion tools here and we're just going to very quickly scale this up by clicking shift and scale. And then we will just start changing the perspective here to look as though it's really actually on my face there and curved around. You'll notice that the image is not going outside of the Bezier shape that we created, that's okay. Let's go over to our inspector under effect and we're just gonna change this to track and then you can see that it has gone outside of that area and then we can continue to use our distortion tools to just kind of place that where we want it on the face there. Typically, it would be best to track on these edges that this image has gone outside of. But in this case, it's really not a big deal because I'm not moving that much. But definitely, if you're having any issues, just track a larger area and then continue to fine tune your image. Cool, that looks really good. I would like to go ahead and change my blending mode from normal to multiply. And that's going to look a bit better and then we will continue to use our distortion tools. So I'm going to increase the size of my canvas here a bit just so we can really see what we're working with. And you can see that there is a line on my mouth there and I want to actually kind of use my distortion tools to move into the crease and then actually curve around my face onto the neck right there. So let's go and click our move brush and I'm going to bring that brush size way down and I'm actually going to increase the size of my canvas a good bit more here. So there we go. And let's bring our brush size down and then we're just going to start using that move brush to kind of put that inside that crease there by clicking and dragging in. You can see how that is warping those mesh points a bit. There, that's starting to look a lot better. Let's continue to move that in. And then we're going to do the same over on the neck area there. We're just kind of dragging that to make it look like it's kind of wrapping around my jaw, around my face a bit. It's looking good. We're gonna do the same here, just on the edges, just a bit. It doesn't need a lot, but again, we're just kind of wrapping that 
around my face using those mesh points. Since we're here, I'm gonna go ahead and use my image effects. Let's add a bit of motion blur. We can add some grain. And I'm gonna go into my levels here and I'm just gonna go and into my black point and I'm just gonna raise that up a bit just so that it looks a bit more like a realistic tattoo on the skin tone there. I think that looks pretty fantastic. It might be a little bit big. So let's go back to our tools here. I'm going to hold shift and I'm just going to bring that down just a bit. I felt like it was a little too large. Now let's check that out. Have you ever wanted a face tattoo without the commitment? M Tracker Surface is here to save the day. On to the tutorial. And that's about it from me. Thank you so much for checking out this M Tracker Surface tutorial, which is now available via Cine Studio on motionvfx.com. And also, I wanted you to see Nick's reaction when I showed him that we were going to be tattooing his face onto my face. It's pretty sweet. Be sure to subscribe. See you on the next one. Nick does not know that I'm putting his face on my face. What is the picture? <laughs> oh my god yes please leave it like that that's, that's what hilarious. we're gonna do yes that's creepy looking <laughs> what the heck? that's you so